Why did South Korea have so much success in stemming the tide um, and resuming baseball? Yeah, I think uh, one of the main factors in that, talking to through my translator to teammates, and one thing I learned is that they, if you're sick over here, given even if it wasn't a COVID situation, like if you're if you're sick, you would wear a mask and you would you would stay home if possible, and if you were out in public, you would wear gloves and a mask anyway. Um, so when all this happened and everyone was being quarantined and everyone was told not to go out and and uh, everyone was told to wear masks and wear gloves and hand sanitizer. All that kind of stuff was normal for them to begin with. And so they were able to just make that adjustment pretty quickly as a culture, I believe. Um, and so I think that that helped. And also, too, um, the size of this country is much smaller. And I think that has played into it as well, where people are, um, you know, they, they understood the severity that if, if they go out and if they spread it, how fast it can spread because everything is really crammed into two major areas. And so it was just kind of like it was they didn't really get an option. Like they had to just stay home. Were you optimistic that the plan to play baseball would go forward? Yes, very, very. Um, I was not optimistic when they told me that it could possibly be as early as like April 7th. And, and I, I really didn't think that that was going to be an option when I first heard that. Um, it turned out to be May 5th. And so their plan seemed very good. They, they ran it by us many, many times and it changed over time. Um, every week it seemed like it changed a little bit. What precautions do you take and what could Major League Baseball learn from those precautions? Um, we get on the bus, we get our temperature taken, we get to the field, we get our temperature taken by the, the, the staff at the stadium. Uh, we, we sign a form and um, well, the way I understand it, it's all in Korean, but the way I understand it is the form is you're just saying that you're signing off that you've not had any of these symptoms um, in the last 24 hours in terms of major league baseball doing it that's a whole nother that's a whole nother beast i mean that's there's 10 teams here it's a lot different there's five games a day versus 15 games a day and so um yeah like those guys they got a they got a big task at hand and just uh just glad i'm not one of the decision makers in that process because they get they get one chance to get it right are you quarantined are your teammates quarantined no we're not um, we've actually not been quarantined. I've, I've avoided all quarantines this whole time. We've been asked to, when we first got here six, seven weeks ago, or is it, yeah, seven weeks ago to, uh, to, to stay home as much as possible. Um, but now they're just telling us like, Hey guys, like, don't go to clubs. Don't go to the crowded beaches. Don't go to these places. Like just avoid big crowds, but you know, you're free to go out and go to the grocery stores and go to restaurants and, and just kind of be normal, but don't just, just don't go to big crowded places. Baseball in the uh, America is hoping to ramp up sometime in July, obviously without fans. What is the experience in pitching in a stadium without fans? It was very weird. Uh, very weird. They, uh, they had this big video board above their dugout that was uh, about 300 Zoom calls going on with fans. <laughs> and fans just kept signing in and, and talking and <laughs> Uh, dancing along with the the team cheerleaders, um, and they were playing music like if you were like at an NBA game, mm -hmm. and they're beating drums and singing and dancing, and all the fans were doing the same on that big video board, uh, trying to do the same things that they would do at the stadium normally. Yeah, it was uh, quiet, odd. No one yelled at me, even though, even though I wouldn't understood what they said. I still no one yelled at me. <laughs> well, so, uh, that's this, a positive. <laughs> Well, but you feed off that as an athlete, like it's it's so cliche, but like we really like need fans at games. Like when you're like when I was when I was in Oakland Day and we were in the playoff hunt, it was loud, it was rocking, it was like energetic. I've played with guys that were on the Detroit teams that we played against those years and to this day, like those guys tell me that was the loudest stadium they've ever been a part of and that was like the most energetic they've ever like the most energy they've ever felt in the stadium was coming from there. So anybody that tells you that you, you, you don't really feed off that, um, I would love to sit down and pick their brain because I don't know how you can turn that off because it just, you, you feed off as an athlete. What's the experience like for you now pitching in South Korea versus the major leagues and living in South Korea versus the United States? Is it yeah, I mean, growing up, coming up through the minor league system, being in the major leagues, I never thought that I would be sitting here. 
but it's just part of my journey. Um, I thought I was signing up to have my family out here. My, my wife and son are back home in Oregon, and uh, they will be there for the foreseeable future until the, the mandatory two-week quarantine when you come to Korea is lifted because, um, you know, things are hard enough having a, a three-year-old with the amount of energy he has, but to try to lock them in a condo for two weeks, I don't want to put my wife through that at all. So, Is your uh, a goal eventually to get back to the major leagues? 100%. I want my son to watch me pitch in the major leagues at a time when he'll remember. And so, um, you know, coming over here, a lot of guys think of it as like a, 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 a final nail in their major league career, like in the coffin of their major league career. But I, I didn't see it that way. Very well put. Uh, when baseball ramps up, a mini spring training, I'll put in a good word for you with Billy Bean. How's that? We'd love to see you to come back to Oakland, huh? Yeah, I'm just waiting to uh, I'm just waiting to run into Billy uh, up in Oregon someday. I just have a feeling I'm going to be walking down the street and just see him up at a uh, up there in Bend. So we'll uh, you put in your word and I'll, I'll talk to him too yeah. if I ever run into him again. Have you ever been to his place? No, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, I, I I've I've heard the rumors of his house up there. I have no clue where it's at. I wasn't even sure if it existed. <laughs> I just. But I just had a, a very strong feeling that one day I'm just going to, like, go walk into a restaurant in the off season and just be like, hey, Billy, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's see if that happens or not.